Hi everyone, in our today's lesson we will talk about bounded sets. So in our previous lesson we have learned the limit point and the isolated points. Uh, you can check from my channel and now uh, let's start. Firstly, bounds. There are two types of bounds upper bound and lower bound. So let's learn what is upper bound and what is lower bound. So upper bound. Definition. Uh, for example, let E be a subset of a subset of real numbers set uh -huh. and if if for arbitrary x from e There is an element M from R such that X is less or equal to M than E is said to be bounded set. Bounded set. A, a bound, oh, sorry, bounded above. Bounded above. Here, M is called, M is called upper bound of E upper bound of E. For example, uh -huh. uh, example, this is a real number line and we have a set A. From five to eight. Let's show this set in our real number line. As you see, here is four, three, two, and etc. And here is nine, ten, and so on. The question is what is the upper bound of this set. As you see, 9, 10 and 11 are uh, greater than 8. So here I can say that 9 is the upper bound of the set um, 5, uh, five 8. Why? Because 9 is greater than and equal to x. x is any number from this set. So uh, as it's clearly seen that 10, 11, 12 and etc. any number from this set can be any number from the set can be the a lower bound of our given set. Uh, if E is bounded from below, uh, 
and from above then we say that we say that E is bounded so here is a question uh, what is the here we learn the upper bound uh, what is the low, lower bound lower bound is um, if here is the definition of lower bound if for arbitrary x from e there is an element m from r such that x is greater than m greater than or equal to m then e is said to be bounded below bounded below and m is called lower bound of set E and M is called lower bound of our given set so here uh, as you see our set starts with 5 and ends uh, in 8 and we can say that 4 is the lower bound of our given set and also 3, 2 and etc are also the lower bounds of our given set because all the elements all the elements of these sets are less than 5 less than or equal to 5 okay let's continue Definition Definition If M satisfies the following condition satisfies the following condition then we say that M M is the least upper bound of A is the least upper bound of E so our first condition is for arbitrary x from e x is less than or equal to m and our second condition for arbitrary x for arbitrary epsilon uh, greater than zero there is an x epsilon from m x epsilon greater than m minus epsilon we denote least upper bound of e as supremum E. Definition, another definition for infinite. If M satisfies the following conditions,
then we say that we say that m is the greatest greatest lower bound of e so our first condition is for arbitrary x from e x is greater or equal to m and our second condition is for arbitrary epsilon positive epsilon there is x epsilon prime from e such that x epsilon is less than m plus epsilon uh -huh. we denote we denote the greatest lower bound of E as infimum E. Here is some theorems. Theorem 1. Bounded from bounded from above non empty set has least upper bound and bounded from below non empty set has greatest lower bound okay let's do some example for our lower and for our supremum and infimum. Mm -hmm. Here is our set. Let S be a set of X such that X squared is less than 12, for example. So the upper bound as uh, you know if we want to solve this problem the square root of x square is less than the square root of 11 and here the model of s is less than the square of the square root of 11 and the solution is x is between the square minus square root of 11 and positive square root of 11. As you can see now, uh, this is our real number line and here is Oh, sorry. This is 12. 12. This is square root of 12 and minus 12. And this is positive 12. And it's open. Here, all these uh, numbers all these elements can be are the upper bound of our given set and all these elements are the lower bound of our given set but the 
greatest element of the lower bound is minus square root of 12. And the least element of the uh, upper bound is square root of 12. So here, upper bound is upper bound is um, y, the set of y, such that y is greater or equal to square root of 12. And the supremum, supremum is what is supremum? The least is square root of 12. And the lower bound, the set of lower bound, let it be, uh, for example, z such that z is uh, less or equal to minus square root of 12 and here infimum is minus square root of 12. And our final theorem about the bounded sets, let's write Consider, consider that E is a subset of R and it is a set which is bounded above and B is a supremum of E, then it's obvious that B is from the closure of E. And consider similarly, E is a subset of R and it's bounded below. And A is infimum E. Then A is from the color of E.